Hi, my name is Kouredi Aziz. I'm a screenwriter and director, and I'm here to answer Nolly Wire's Quick Five. Why are you doing this, guys? I swear, if your nash move from this chair, I'll go blow your head, come on. <laughs> so... But all the women will food this one. Now my mama, if you say go fool around me. Screw this talk that one now. I think I sat on the floor. <laughs> because I mean can you really explain the feeling? It was it was epic. It was freaking epic. Like yeah, I think my, my legs probably give way and I sat on the floor, if I remember correctly. The brief that we got was to take an African folktale and retell that story. So what I can tell you is that the story was originally from, um, the African folktale was originally from Southern Nigeria with this character, headstrong character, um, who didn't want to marry the men her parents wanted her to marry. But then she got entwined with the spirit world and interesting things happened. <laughs> and she learns an important and listen at the end of the day but what i did was i took the story to the north um where the whole first marriage thing still happens uh, it happens more in the north now than it does in the south and instead of spirits and witches and all that stuff you know i decided to do AI and virtual worlds. That should give you enough of an idea of what the film is about. Unfortunately, we can't go back in the past to change anything. There are still no time machines. <laughs> but the one thing that we can change in is the future. The one thing that we can um, have an impact on and can determine to some extent is the future. I've always been a fan of speculative fiction, sci-fi, fantasy. In fact, the very first story I wrote as a child, I must have been like 10 then, I don't remember exactly, um, but it was a fantasy story. And maybe I like those stories because I loved daydreaming a lot <laughs> as a child. And I just like how you can imagine yourself in a in a completely different world, um, a world that is new, where magical things happen. Because, I mean, for me, that's like the definition of escapism. <laughs> and that is why we watch films, right? But that being said, I also, I, I prefer films that have a very grounded approach to sci-fi. Um, and not necessarily all the heavy stuff. I mean, the lasers, the spaceships, all of that. Um, and maybe that's also because I know that in Nollywood, our means are limited, you know, but I don't think our limited means, um, should stop us from dreaming big and trying things outside of the box. Um, and then all of that combined with, I've always loved technology. I always have questions about where technology might take us and what happens if we push if we pushed it a little farther what happens if we push it too far you know so these are questions that i that i've always had in my head and for me sci-fi is like one way to explore all of these questions and just put everything together in a mishmash um mishmash everything together in a form that's hopefully entertaining for others as it is for me He was keen on helping me preserve my voice and my vision as the writer and director of the story. Um, yeah, so I mean, he was there as a producer in some ways as a mentor as well to basically just help me shape and help me bring out these ideas. There are quite a few. Um, one of those is the image that northern men have or muslim men a lot of times muslim men are painted as the evil guy um 
you must obey me you must do what i say or else yeah they're just always the bad guy i think the most the most annoying thing for me is how northern women are represented muslim women um there are so many layers i mean muslim women are like everyone else really i mean we don't sit in our houses with our hijabs on all day every day we don't sit down in one corner pulling on the prayer bead all day every day um we're not all docile and quiet and calm we're not uneducated like <laughs> there's so much more there's so much more to us there's this series um the abani life series sons of the caliphate that does a good job of portraying muslims in the north and for me it's not just about muslims in the north it's muslims everywhere and that's about it uh for adieu salu right now i am working on a project with a muslim protagonist very particular about that but i am taking a chance and try to crowd source and crowd fund this project um it's pretty exciting because like in the first week or two that i said on twitter hey i want to make this project a muslim protagonist i got over 200 people who said they wanted to help me out and that was pretty exciting so <laughs> so yeah watch out for that project we actually have started you know developing the story um working on that right now can't wait to get it out there. My name is Koredi Aziz and I have been chatting with Nolly Wire about my film Adieu Salut. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates.